terrifying sea creatures that actually exist the ocean is without a doubt the scariest place on earth so i heard 95 percent of it is unexplored what is that so it's no surprise that every year new terrifying creatures what are these are things i've never seen and is that a smiley face in the ocean that's not an animal right that's a bunch of algae or something because what is that that cannot be an animal bro if that's an animal i am terrified of the ocean as y'all already know so this only makes me feel more justified in my fears new terrifying creatures are discovered and caught Bro, on camera. Is that? Welcome back. Charlie here. Today we'll look at the most terrifying creatures living in our seas. From a jellyfish that makes you want to end your own life huh? to humanoid creatures scientists can't explain. What? This, that can't be real. That can't be real, bro. That cannot be real. That has to be a prank or something. There's no way something with almost five fingers is down there trying to jump scare Nick. The first scary sea creature we'll look at is the Ninjin. Huh? Ninjins are found in Japanese and sub-Antarctic oceans. They are aquatic humanoids, but resemble a whale. Ninjins are very rare. Over the years, there have been many hoax sightings. But in 2010, Japanese whale researchers Bro, caught the most convincing Ninjin video ever. The video was filmed in Arctic waters and comes from the Japanese agency for marine earth science and technology the camera clearly shows a large creature with rounded features it has an it's ominous smile and two large glowing white eyes at first some said this may have been a new species of whale but according to marine biologists no species of whale looks like this how you know Meaning just because it looked like that don't mean you know it's not a whale i'm trying to be positive here because I, I don't know what that is and it's scaring me if i was down there and i seen some shit like that just staring at me you know when they say don't show something fear that's what they ate me bro i'm not gonna lie i'd have been panicking trying to swim i probably would have drowned for so much panic meaning that this is likely the closest humans have ever got to a ninjin ninjins do look ominous what? but they're nothing compared bro i'm trying to tell y'all if i see anything like this i'm never gonna be the same bro y'all gonna see me in church every week bro. <laughs> like y'all gonna see me up there every week bro i might start going to bible study and some i don't know bro this is gonna change my life but they're nothing compared to this tiny jellyfish if you thought sea creatures had to be gigantic to be scary, then think again. Okay. Many have gone as far as to say this jellyfish is the scariest animal on the planet. Why? The reason why is because it can make you suicidal. Ow. The Irukandji jellyfish is found in, you guessed it, Australia. I didn't guess it. If you're stung by one of these, then it won't hurt that much. But it will leave you with an impending sense of doom. And it will also make you want to end your own life for up to two weeks. What? People stung by the Irukandji jellyfish have ended their own lives. The jellyfish is only one centimeter in diameter. And in my opinion, that's what makes it so scary. Is there anything you can do about that? Let's say you knew you got stung by this jellyfish. You know, like, it can make you want to kill yourself. Is there anything you can do to stop that? Is this jellyfish like the death note or some shit? Once you stung, you got two weeks or you're going to die. That's a crazy feat to have, bro. This jellyfish is literally the death note. Like, no matter what, you're going to die in two weeks if you're stung by this jellyfish. Like, what? inescapable death you got two weeks i'm doing a lot of things in two weeks bro if you got stung by one of these you may not even know just imagine how huh. many people have ended their own huh. lives and not even known that a jellyfish is to blame even though the irukandji jellyfish is the most venomous thing on the planet many people don't ever see it coming its venom is a hundred times worse than a cobra snake and 1,000 times worse than a tarantula's. What? Some people have survived these stings, but looking at their scars makes me never want to go in the sea again. Oh my I think gosh. if I ever go to Australia, I will avoid the beach. This jellyfish affects the human body very fast. Sometimes people are swimming and are stung by this jellyfish. They then lose control of their body and sink underwater. Dr I told y'all, chat. I told y'all. You might just drown. Like... <laughs> You might just drown. So this jellyfish, you're f either way. You're going to get stung. You might drown. If you get away and get out of water, you might end yourself in two weeks. What the f I think it's safe to say this animal is pretty OP. 
It's almost like it was uniquely designed to make humans' lives a living hell. Yeah. But I think this next sea creature may inflict even more pain. I do have a question though. Why does the venom make you want to end your life? That's one thing I would want to answer. Why does the venom make you want to end your life? Like, what does it do chemically in your body? But I think this next sea creature may inflict what even is that? more pain. Meet the tongue-eating louse. This underwater creature really is oh, the stuff of nightmares. This underwater parasite eats its prey's tongue. But here's where it gets weird. After eating its prey's tongue, it then takes the place of its prey's tongue. It literally lives in its victims' mouths, eating all of their food. This thing really seems like a sci-fi monster. It is found off the coast of California all the way down to the coast of Ecuador. Has it ever been in a human's mouth? Because that would be a crazy thing to have. Like, what if I ate some pussy? <laughs> <laughs> like these questions need to be answered bro what is the possibility of that happening they're also found in the atlantic ocean too just imagine having a tongue with eyes and legs uh. the scary thing is tongue eating louse do this multiple times once their host dies they find a new victim and they then become that victim's tongue now let's move on to a legendary scary creature found in the waters of japan let me see what is it about japan and creepy things in their seas this Godzilla. is known as an Umi boat. This is not real, bro. No, I refuse to believe Slender Man is real. I truly refuse to believe this. <sighs> I told y'all this water shit is not for the weak, bro. Y'all be trying to say I'm pumped because I don't want to swim ever again, but I'm over here learning about the crazy shit that's in the sea. I don't want to go in water no more. I can see this. It look like it got five fingers. It brings me down. I can't swim that good, y'all. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm not going to Japan's waters to see this goddamn humanoid typhoon. I'm not doing this, shit, bro. What is it about Japan and creepy things in their seas? This is known as an Umi Bozu. Umi Bozo meaning sea monk. That's because these creatures are gigantic and hairless like a monk. They are totally black with humanoid or snake-like limbs. Ursula. They have been sighted by many fishermen over the years, and they're said to sometimes capsize ships. Some believe that Umi Bozos are simply gigantic squids, but many Japanese fishermen said, swear that what they saw were Ursula. not squids. Umi Bozos are said to be much larger and stronger. Some oh. have even compared what? these to Cthulhu. That is a mythical gigantic squid which capsizes ships. This Pirates but of the Caribbean? if you thought Umi Bozus were the scariest underwater humanoids, then you'd be wrong. Take a look at this video taken from inside a submarine. The this submarine was lurking below the Greenland Sea. The crew is looking at a school of fish above them, but behind them there is a much rarer, scary- Like, look at that. It knew what it was doing. It's over here playing tag and shit. But behind them, there is a much rarer. Look at this. I know you can't see it, but use your imagination. It knew that people were down there and it just wanted to say hello. Do you know how crazy that is? It just wanted to say hello. It just put its fingers up there and said, hi, I'm here. I'm watching you. And if you get out this goddamn bubble, I'm going to eat you. That's basically what it was. A warning shot. He was like, hey, go back up there. You don't want to know what's down here, big fella. That's all he was doing. The true scary thing about this is so whatever creature this is, does it have intelligence? From what I'm seeing, it definitely does. It was saying hello. It wanted to make friends and eat you possibly. I don't fucking know. But behind them, there is a much rarer, scarier creature. Nah, bro. Nah. Look at this. It was stalking them. As you can see, a large webbed hand slams onto the submarine's window. The hand seems to be roughly five times larger than a human hand. I'm but saying. has five fingers, I'm suggesting saying. this may be a humanoid of some sort. Bro. The humanoid creature then seems to swim away, leaving the submarine crew absolutely stunned and scared. You might have. Did it go? Oh my fucking god. Goosebumps just came all over my body. What the fuck is that, bro? Oh my god, I'm about to cry. Yo, the fact that that, that, there's no way, bro. There's no way. I told y'all three years ago, I feel like mermaids are real. That shit is a mermaid, but mermaids ain't what y'all think they is. They don't have beautiful scales and all that cute shit, bro. That's a mermaid. Bro, Atlantis is real. These little humanoid people are real people, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, call me a conspiracy theorist, whatever the fuck y'all want to call me. This is some scary shit. 
Bro, imagine there's like a whole army of them motherfuckers down there. Let's stay up here and leave them alone. We don't need to discover any more of the ocean. They not coming up here. We don't need to go down there. Let's stay in our realm. That's a whole different world down there. This is what's wrong with humanity right now. Curiosity. Curiosity has killed the cat many times and we still ain't fucking listen. You might have missed it, but there is one frame where the creature's head can be seen. Using AI, I've enhanced this so we can get a better look. Nah. It does not look like any sea creature I know, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, let but me know. Whatever this is, it's far from the only unidentified creature living in our waters. Probably way Just more. Just take a look at this very mysterious that. footage of a disc in the water. This was recorded by Thomas Wall. He is audibly confused as he sees a large breathing disc. How you know it's breathing? I don't know what it is. I would just think it's this algae. This was filmed in Godridge, Ontario, Canada. Apparently, this is near a local nuclear power plant. Okay. So maybe this is some kind of mutant fish or sea animal. It definitely does seem to be breathing, suggesting this is alive. Why do y'all think it's breathing? I don't see... Where do y'all get the breathing from? It's on top of the water because it need to get oxygen or it, what do y'all think is breathing? Where's the evidence of it breathing? I need to know that. Thomas throws something into the water, but the round mass does not move. Maybe it was not able to, or perhaps it's simply not scared. It's just algae. What do you think this could possibly be? Just now, algae. let's move on to a terrifying sea creature we do know a lot about. This is the Lancet fish. The Lancet fish is also known as the handsaw fish. They're very rare and live in the ocean. But in 2014, one of these fish washed up in North Carolina. These fish are gigantic. That's a little too close to home. That's a little too close to home. Hey, I'm on the East Coast. What you mean it was washed up in North Carolina? That's a little too close. Go back where you came from, little Nick. All right, I don't need you out here. What you mean is out in North Carolina? Hell no. Nah. These fish are gigantic with massive fangs to match. The scary thing about lancet fish is they hunt other lancet fish. They're known for taking the lives of their brothers, sisters, cousins, and even parents. What? This cannibal fish is very dangerous to humans too. Finally, let's look at a very scary sea mystery. That is the mystery of Crabzilla. Is that in a big 2014, crab? sightings of a 15 meter giant crab were recorded in the UK. It was apparently seen in Whitstable off the Kent coast. Some boys who were crabbing reported it, and the giant crab was no. even reportedly seen on Google Maps. No. This was reported by lots of newspapers at the time, but to this day the verdict is still out. The crab is no longer there in person, but satellite images do appear to match the reports many locals made. I need y'all to go find it. What you mean you can't find it? What you mean it's not there? What you mean it's not there? I need y'all to go find it. That's a big ass crab. Y'all not worried? Now I know I said mind y'all business, but y'all lost a giant crab. Go find that motherfucker. Make sure it's okay. How many giant crabs are out there? Please go find that motherfucker. Can't let that bitch on the loose. What the fuck? But satellite images do appear to match the reports many locals made. What do you think? Is Crabzilla real or not? But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the scariest sea creature in this video. Y'all let me know what was the scariest sea creature in this video. If you want more stuff like this, run them likes up, subscribe if you're new, and comment below what else you want me to check out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.